Oh, let's talk about something real quick. <laughs> All right, I, I'm doing um, research for a, a video. I will likely post that video ahead of this one. So if you're seeing this before that, check that out. That is a breakdown of a new Walking Dead Season 9 trailer. Uh, it has to do with Rick and Daryl and um, conflict breaking off with the saviors. But anyway... I was doing research and I needed to pull um, a specific image that I seen days ago, which led me to Twitter because that's where I found the link. And this popped up and I was like, oh, what is this? And it's, she's going farther than any villain has on Fear the Walking Dead. And I didn't recognize this image. Someone said it was from Captain Marvel. And I was like, all right, I guess it's a poster I just didn't recognize. And um, up here, it's, it's remember where she corrected the one girl? So I just, I don't know, man. Out of sheer curiosity, I just thought... Let's see what uh, let's see what kind of comments we got. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not liking the villain. Let's see if the fan base is liking the villain. I might be the only one, you know. So we go down and it's like, y'all see this shit? I don't know what that means, good or bad. Uh, let me move my bang so I can read that again. A couple memes, you know, uh, gif memes. Uh, she actually thinks I like her. That dumb bitch. That one's funny. And again, you don't know if this is positive or negative. You're not really sure. Maybe it seems a little more negative, like more people are laughing at this post then with it and then you just get down to here and it's it's bad it was like the recent the predator post where they said uh all predator fans come to this one spot and let's discuss the predator and they were all like what discuss how bad it is <laughs> it was bad it was vicious anyway let's see uh this looks like a parody because season four is a parody <laughs> poster on the same level as this season with a little image of ratings going down <laughs> ouch why does this poster look so bad? Because shadows don't exist and the cutout is super amateur. Whoever made this should be fired. I think this was just something, and they do this all the time, where they just slap it together to keep, uh, to keep the, you know, the website active and relevant. You know what I mean? Uh, so I don't think, I don't know, but I get what you mean. It is one of the more slapped together images. Uh, who made this? A twelve-year-old with Photoshop. I don't know what that was, but I'm. Act like I didn't even see it. <laughs> Why does outside look like Minecraft? Got the bird flip in here. Me, with all the mess the show has become without her true leader, a.k.a. Madison. Worst villain ever. Like, just awful. All right, I guess I'm not the only one who doesn't like this villain. Like, did someone just say, you know, let's just get a female version of Morgan when he was all crazy, killing everything near him. Oh, let's give her a staff, too. That would be original and neat. Next, we are going to see... Um, she studies Aikido also. <laughs> Laugh out loud. What annoys me more are fans that defend her character saying best villain to date. That's no villain, just some crazy, lazy writing. Uh, try to give her context. Lamest villain of all time. Well, there's, uh, well, that's not saying much. Fear hasn't really had a proper villain before. That's part of why I liked it so much. The world isn't divided into heroes and villains. It's just a bunch of people doing what's necessary to survive. Everyone is capable of good or evil. I like episode 13 or 14, but the villain is not good. <laughs> uh, nah, she gotta go. Look at that gif. <laughs> what else we got here? A little middle finger. All right. Yeah, this is, this is ouch. <laughs> this gif. That's disgusting. I saw this somewhere else and thought it was a meme. They were serious. <laughs> ouch. Uh, Jesus tap dancing Christ. What are you people doing? What are these tags? Per JMC, Fire Scott Gipple. Ow, he always gets blamed for everything. <laughs> Someone running the Twitter feed here gets Scott Gimple in trouble out of nowhere. Boycott AMC. Wow, that's a bit harsh. Fire Jenna Elfman. Ouch. Bring back Dave Erickson. Bring back Madison. Well, you can't do that. I mean, they're gone. It's, you know, what's gone is gone. Except for Madison. Actually, you could bring back Dave Erickson and Madison, to be honest. Again, we didn't see her die. How come I can't watch season one on Amazon Prime? When will I be able to? When the season is done. Season four, he meant. So nobody helped her and she went nuts. <laughs> I believe it was a combination of both. Her husband was the love of her life. No one would help her. Plus, she may have had mental illness before the apocalypse. Maybe more of her story will present itself. So there's a more positive one. Hopefully they give her some depth. Depth. Cause uh, not vested in her as a villain yet. Sorry, but one-dimensional. Joke, question mark. Nasty woman. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, 
Uh, love all the new characters this season. Love the disabled diversity. Hate this villain. Worst villain from either show so far. I have to agree. I can't stand this villain. Instead of continuing continuing a quality show led by Dave Erickson, we get this. Wow. If this season did anything right, it was to make the main show look good again. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, come on. What do you think? <laughs> What in the how anyone thinks this was acceptable is beyond me. But they also thought the show was good too. Yikes! Wow, I don't know if I'm I'm rarely on the Twitter, the Fear the Walking Dead Twitter man. Is it always this brutal? <laughs> Love your character. Don't mess with teachers. Okay, we got a positive one. Watch out, we got a badass over there. Uh, that was hot. This is a par parody of Captain Marvel. Cute. I can't believe none of them have taken this lady out yet. She has killed more people than Negan. I have a feeling she will be alive for the rest of the season, though. Well, luckily, the season's ending in two seasons, so... Two episodes. So she should die soon. The way the show is going, Morgan will do for her what Eastman did for him, which is return her sanity. Then after murdering all those people, she will join the group like Charlie does after killing Nick. I have to say, a big yuck on that. I... Uh, no. <laughs> Not everyone can be healed, you know, or fixed. That's a good theory. Rick spared Negan, so anything is possible. At least they're not still uh, at the baseball stadium, and I prefer the nomad lifestyle they have right now. And that's the thing. You know, villains can get a redemption story and stuff, but uh, this character is just not interesting at all. And I, I blame it on her, um, her motivation for her actions. I just find it absolutely ridiculous and not entertaining, not even believable. It's a stretch. It's like a villain just to be a villain. And then they just gave her any old backstory. And I did really enjoy the setup. If she was just a regular character and she was just surviving after the events, I would I would really, really, really dig that introduction to her story. I thought that was really cool. Uh, now that's sad. Reg, the Walking Dead gets the governor. Negan, Cannibal's Fear gets this. Um, what a shitty edit. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Uh, she is a take on Alpha from the Whisperers War. Both females and thought uh, the weak should die by walkers. Only difference is she isn't wearing a skin suit and is in a group. She looks familiar to me. Oh shit. When's Madison returning? Question mark. Yikes. Hopefully very soon. Oh my god. Hopefully never. Morgan fans shoo away. Morgan is an excellent character. <laughs> Alright, I agree. Morgan is a great character. Okay, they're going to continue on with some old this is pathetic. Bring Madison back. That lady is a freak and she needs to die. Madison is going to show up and cut her throat. Don't mess with De Debenham Carey. A filthy woman. That's what you're calling her? Question mark. What the fuck is this? This looks like ass. Why is she called filthy woman? Uh, it's, it's almost like you're trying to sabotage your own show. She's a pathetic villain. Truly pathetic. This season has been well and truly dire and unwatchable. I'm, I've officially tuned out. Show sucks. She is batshit crazy. Why don't you guys just have somebody jump a tank full of sharks on a bicycle? Let's show the offensive ones. I hope they kill that crazy bitch. <laughs> Stupid fucking season. Yo, and that's the thing too is, and I'm not piling on at all. Maybe we'll look through a few more because that might just be the only, because not a lot of fans like having this villain at all. Uh, maybe that's the only one that's, ouch, that's pretty brutal. Cast and crew talk about Morgan becoming the leader. Let's see. So y'all put a man instead of a woman as the lead of the show, but now the ratings keep dropping. Apparently, the takeover went wrong for AMC. No one likes Morgan. The show is crap now, and the new showrunners ruin the show. Ouch. Where are you coming from? So y'all put a man... Uh, you're a reject. <laughs> Can we get over this man-woman bullshit that everyone's going on and on about? I mean, the media don't stop. People don't stop. And it's only drawing a wedge between people that normally would agree. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, I don't think even this... And again, it has nothing to do with a female lead or a male lead. It has to do with a good story. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line. Uh, I don't think even that is the problem. Even if Madison came back, which she should, the writing is terrible, direction is horrible, and the showrunners don't know what they are doing. They tried to reboot a series that didn't need a reboot. I agree with that last part. They did try to reboot a series that did not need a reboot. And another thing, too, is I truly enjoyed the first half of the season. And this is what it feels like. Fear the Walking Dead feels like this. 
They came in with the fire, the passion, the fury to get this done. And somewhere along the lines, AMC slapped them in the face and they said, we're out of money. <laughs> so figure something else out. And I, and I don't want to just blame this on AMC right now because it, everyone's at, at fault at this point. Uh, and I'm talking about AMC and the creative team. AMC because they're constantly suffocating the budget on both of these shows. It's pretty much fact at this point. If anyone can that has hard evidence that uh, they give these both of these shows enough budget that they deserve, you know, don't compare it to some show that takes place in a house constantly and it's sets and shit like this. No, you're doing a post-apocalyptic show. You know you're going to need a bigger budget than most shows that take place indoors that have sets and yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I'm talking about like even permanent or temporary sets for the seasons. Um, anyhow, and even post-apocalyptic, you can't – it's not just like let's shut down a, a city street and you film your show uh, because you don't need to change the world. Anywhere you film in the Walking Dead universe, you need to decay the universe. You need to decay the world. And I think that's what makes it frustrating when I want variety in some of the city and, and see different landscapes and see different environments. No matter what, you're not going to get as much. You are not going to get as much at all because they need to decay every single thing around them. And we do get some. Like with the hospital, we get that one little shot. But that's what I mean. We're not going to we're not going to get an extensive uh, – they're going throughout the city. You need to put them in the building and maybe get that rooftop shot of some background. And it's happening at the end of the season when the previous seasons we had what? Or the previous episodes we had what? Strand and um, um, John Dory out in pretty much the middle of, middle of nowhere that they could have just found that location, dirtied it up, and then used some CGI. Uh, they had the storm with Charlie and... Um, but um, but um, what's her name? What's her name? This girl right here, Alicia, in a house again. They just find a house that's all out of the way somewhere. Same thing with um, the the girl in the SWAT van, Al, with uh, June, the girl with seven names. Same thing with them. They were kind of like off the way in different roadsides, as far as I can remember. Uh, did they even go into a building in that episode? I don't even remember. It doesn't even matter. I think they just filmed like off the side of the road in their van. Uh, but that's the thing. You you got to pay attention to wherever you're filming because you have to decay the entire world around you. So uh, they do need the budgets. But when I'm watching this season, it really feels like that. It really feels like they were they were on a roll and they blew their budget and then they had to make some changes and now it's just tires spinning in the mud. I agree with Lenny. Uh, Morgan shouldn't be leading the show. Madison should. Oh, Lenny said that. We don't want him. It's a no from me. Uh, look at this guy. He's like, nope. <laughs> Perfect gift. The filthy lady backstory was okay, but her motivations for being a villain are unrealistic and silly. We want the realistic outlook that old fear gave us, not this slow-moving crap of a season with flat characters. Bring Ma back Madison. Bring back Dave Erickson. Ouch. Uh, and I do agree with this, definitely. Uh, her motivations are unrealistic and silly. Uh, maybe we just didn't get enough in-depth with the character. Maybe they could have done more because it did kind of jump. It was like people don't help. And then you kind of jumped right into that. Maybe it did need a little more uh, with that character to expand it out some. That's boring. You're boring, everybody. <laughs> I love Lenny James, but no. Listen, I love Lenny James, but I'm a solid hell no. I want him back on The Walking Dead, bottom line. Do what you got to do to fix Fear the Walking Dead and get him the hell up out of there. No offense, but when are you killing his character off? Hey, Penguin Squad, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm living for all the shade on this post. Man, look at that. Man, you know what? I got to try another. I only wanted to do a five-minute little video, but I got to try another. Let's just click on a random one. I'm closing my eyes. I'm scrolling. And click. Nope, I liked something. All right, let's click on that anyway. Uh, well said, Alicia. Okay, fans like Alicia. Make uh, Althea Cannon. Ch Jesus, enough with the gimple speak already. <laughs> it's one of those things that sounds deep but really isn't. Uh, exactly. I don't know why gimple keeps doing this. No human talks like that in the real world. Uh, Alicia getting Charlie's hopes up for Galveston. It's a dirty beach with brown water. Texas, we're nuts. All right, give us more. Uh, don't kill Charlie. She's amazing. She's taken her to the beach. Love this scene. I would take Charlie to Carol. <laughs> oh, Alicia in the is in this show? Oh, I see. We love a queen. She always knows what to say. You know that commercial, A Place for Mom? Well, 
Maybe there's a place for Martha. Cold hard facts. Let my baby be happy. Okay, so we, we got some positive stuff here. And that's, that's what I'm seeing a lot. There's a lot of people that like Alicia. Let's see here. The second time they've said that, if you're counting. Let's see what this one is. Uh, it must be a twins thing. I noticed exactly. Not as bad as the time we stir beef. Uh, definitely saying this at work tomorrow. Okay, so okay, this isn't so bad. Here's another Alicia one. Let's see if we got some positive. She can be fine if you let her. Come on, give us... Uh, I hate when they combine names, man. I hate it. I have a hard time pronouncing one person's name. I'm not okay because we've only seen three minutes of these two this entire episode. Do better. Seriously, forget it. I ain't watching this episode either. Yep, 32 minutes in. All right, so we got some more negative stuff about them. And that is a positive thing. They want more of that character. And that's one thing I think Fear failed on miserably. You should have made Alicia the legacy character. Uh, you know, if Madison, if you're killing her off... Uh, and you won't have these reject nitwits going, man, woman. Blah, 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 blah. No, um, uh, you kill off Madison. I disagreed with that. I mean, I think they could have done it, but later on made it more dramatic. We should have saw her reaction with finding out Nick died. And then with um, Alicia, you should have made her the legacy character. Uh, give her a, a bigger spot. Have Morgan there to, uh, a print, to be an apprentice to her. Help her carry on. Keep that main focus. That should have been the focus of season four. It should have been bringing Morgan in the loop, then wanting to go, but getting caught up with Alicia and being an apprentice to her. Right when he found her, even if they wanted to keep this primarily the same, up until the point where he was with her, remember, before they, the storm and they got split up, you could have done that. Had her run into Charlie, had her wanting to kill Charlie, have Morgan there to help mediate that, to help try to walk her through there, and then something happens, the storm breaks down somewhere, and Morgan um, Morgan has to go and help, and he gets separated momentarily, and then she finds her opportunity to kill Charlie, and that's when the bird falls down in the fireplace, and it snaps her out of it. They should have done that, and then Morgan rushes back because he realized he only went to do one thing real quick, and he got either shut out, maybe Alicia even locked him out, and then he had his own shit coming on. He finally got in the in the house, and he sees that she didn't kill her, and she kind of um, dealt with it in her own way. He doesn't say anything, you know. He he lets her grieve and handle it, and then you you continue the story like that. <laughs> Boom! I right now I'm hyped. I want to see that show, and maybe that's my bias because I just had that idea and it's my idea but you guys let me know what you think I think that's what it should have been it should have been Morgan uh, being an apprentice to um, Alicia building that character up to be the f future lead and she should have been the legacy character once Madison was killed off it should be Alicia taking up the reins in uh, Fear the Walk Dead you guys let me know what you think about that uh, down in that comment box put your thoughts and opinions there we pulled something positive out something negative uh, Fear the Walking Dead season 5 keep Madison alive uh, no, sorry. Keep Alicia alive. Bring her to the top and get Morgan the fuck over to the Walking Dead. <laughs>